Yo, what's up guys? It's Hasmons here, and of course I'm bringing you another Wi-Fi battle. This is going to be uploaded on Wednesday, it's being pre-recorded on Tuesday. So yeah, this is against a longtime follower of mine named Kurt Ross. We've had a few, quite a few battles in the past. OU, RU, NU, Monotype, stuff like that. But this is going to be an OU battle. As you can see on his team, he does have an OU mixed team technically. Although, again, five of the six Pokemon on his team... Fall in the borderline slash OU tier, so yeah, Red Jets is probably the only lower tier Pokemon on this team. I myself have a, have an OU team as well. I'm running a Mega Charizard X team, so let's review my team real quick. I have Rotom Wash, Clefable, Hippowdon, Hoopa Unbound, Charizard X, and Latios. Now, I haven't used Hoopa Unbound until recently, and yeah, it's a very strong Pokemon. It's pretty slow. It's weak physically, defensively. But very good special defense, very good offensive stats, so yeah. Here I would give Hoopa Unbound a go. My opponent is bringing Volcarona, Skarmory, Tornadus, Mega Gallade, Regice, and Sylveon. He's got a lot of type coverage there. He has the Tornadus, Sylveon, and Mega Gallade to cover Regice's fighting weakness. Um, he has Skarmory to cover, and Volcarona to cover Sylveon's Steel weakness, he has Skarmory to cover Sylveon's poison weakness as well. Yeah, this is going to be a very tough mountain climb because Red Dice is a very specially defensive wall, and we're going to see how we do here. So, with that in mind, let's get right into the battle. My opponent's going to lead off with Volcro, I'm going to lead off with Wash King, the Rotom Wash. He's going to start to try to set up Corbinance as I go for a Volt Switch. Obviously, I'm not going to go for the Hydro Pump because A, his Volcro is faster, B, Kirby will boost the special defense by one stage, and Hydro Pump will not one hit KO, and C, Hydro Pump might miss, so I do go for Volt Switch, and in comes Charizard X. I'm going to go right for the Mega Evolution here, I'm going to just hit a Flare Blitz, and I'm going to bother with the D-Dance. He goes to the Fire Dance, I'm not really sure what he was going for, maybe he thought it was, it was a Charizard Y, and he would have gotten boost from the Sun, but either way, I'm going to go for Flare Blitz, and basically one hit KO this Volcarona. Critical hit did not matter because Volcarona is frail on the physical defensive side. That was tough plus boosted plus uh, stab and yeah. Anyways, I'm going to switch charge at X. Oh, I'm going to go into Hot the Club Fable. You see if we can wall out this Tornado. So he goes to a Hurry King with his Tornado. It does almost 50%. And I'm going to go right for the Thunder Wave, hoping I do not get confused by Hurricane. He's going to go for a second one. And does not confuse me. Now I'm down 26 HP though. And I get the Thunder Wave off, which is fantastic. So. Yeah, I'm gonna go for a Moonlight here to heal up some HP after Leftovers Recovery. I believe this is when he goes for a U-turn. So, the people gets healed and he does go for a U-turn. So, he is Life Orb. Life Orb plus Regenerate is a fantastic combination. Because while you do take damage from Life Orb after its damaging attacks, you do get healed with your HP when switching out. So, out comes Red Gice. Um, this thing is gonna pose a very big threat. I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with a Thunder Wave. So he's going to get fully paralyzed. I'm going to actually switch to Fable and go into Hoopa Unbound here because Hoopa Unbound has some great physical attack and Red Ice is physically weak in the defense department. But he does go for a Thunder Wave of his own which kind of sucks for me. But luckily my Hoopa Unbound is scarred. I'm going to go for the Hyperspace Fury which is going to do about 50% to Red Ice, A little bit over 50%. And he's actually going to go for the Amnesia to boost his special defense. Like, like Red Ice needed a more special defense. He's going to go for a Protect just to get some Leftovers Recovery here, and I'm going to go for Hyperspace Fury, but I do get Fully Paralyzed. It was a wasted Protect for him, but to be fair, he did not know that I would get Fully Paralyzed. So, I'm going to go for a second Hyperspace Fury, like I said, I'm going to lock into it because I am Choice Scarf, and, yeah, lowers my defense. It goes for Ice Beam, and his Red Ice does get healed with Leftovers. He's going to actually switch out here and go into his... Icarus the Skarmory as I do get fully paralyzed, so fortunately for Hoopa Unbound, that is the case. I'm going to switch out for Washington, the Rotom Wash, he's going to set up his Stealth Rocks. I'm going to go right for a Volt Switch on the Skarmory to do as much damage as humanly possible. Um, my Rotom is not offensively invested, so obviously it's not going to knock down to the story. I do go on my Latios, hoping that he'll do something, like, I don't know, set up a layer of spikes on it so he can get a free Defog off, but he's going to go for Whirlwind. And out comes my Rotom, he takes some rock damage, but it's gonna get healed with leftovers, so that's fine. I'm gonna go for a Volt Switch on the Skarmory. He's actually gonna switch out Icarus to Skarmory and go into his Shut Up the Sylvia, which is basically copying me. 
Now, this may seem like a very bizarre switch in here, but I'm going to switch into my Latios against the Sylveon. The reason being is because I want to get my Rock Sub kill, so I'm going to preserve Charizard X and basically try to take out two Pokemon with it. No, oh, actually, I go for a Clefable, trying to get the Fully Paralysis on, but it goes for a Hyper Voice, and that's going to knock out my Clefable, which tells me this Silver is likely Choice Specs. But now I go out into Latios here. I'm going to get the Defog off. I mean, I could have went into Charizard X to get a Flare Blitz and one hit and knock out the Sylveon, but I just wanted the rocks off my side of the field, so Hyper Voice is going to knock out Latios, so basically the Sylveon got two kills. I mean, yeah, I should have kept Latios in, but he didn't want to get the rocks off, so... Now my Charizard X can go for a Flare Blitz and knock out the Sylveon. It's going to be left with 27 HP, I believe, or 19 rather. Had I not got rid of those rocks, the Charizard X would have been out after that. So he's going to switch out into his Gallade. I'm going to go into Can't Touch Me, hit a Powdown. He's going to go for it. the Mega Evolution to get the Chow Sneak off. Because, you know, Glades do carry Chow Sneak as priority. So, yeah. But it's not going to do too much, even with a crit. He's going to take some Rocky Home damage, which is awesome for me. He's going to switch out his Gallade, and he's going to go into Icarus Discovery as I do set up my Stealth Rocks. Now, this is very unfortunate for me because now I don't have my Defogger anymore. And he, I'm going to switch the Powdown out and go into Charizard X. As he's set his rocks of his own. So my Charizard X is basically you know, stuck in here. It's trapped. So I'm going to just Flare Blitz the Skarmory and knock it out, which is okay by me. So Icarus the Skarmory and Charizard X both thing. I believe next out I send my... Can't touch me the hip out on Yes, I send that as Mega Gallade. He's going to go for the Swords... No, he's going to go into his Tornadus. I'm going to go for a Rock Slide to Paraflinch this Tornadus. And I do manage to do that. I'm going to go for another Rock Slide, but he's going to switch out and go into Mega Gallade. Again, that's pretty fine with me. It's not going to do too much to Mega Gallade, though, because Glade does resist it due to being fighting type. I'm going to go for Earthquake as he goes to Swords Dance. And yeah, Earthquake's going to knock Mega Gallade down to the red health. He's going to go for a close combat to one shot my Hippodon, and I pray that the Rocky Helmet damage finishes off the Glade. And it does, because had the Rocky Helmet damage not finished it off, I would have almost for sure lost this battle. Um, next up comes Frost of the Red Chice, which is going to faint due to the Stealth Rocks. Out comes Wash King, the Rotom Wash. And Red Chice is down. And now all that he has left is a Paralyzed Tornadus. I have a Choice Scarf Hoopa Unbound and a Rotom Wash, and Volswitch is going to finish off the Tornadus. So yeah, that was a pretty good battle. Um very glad that the Rook Helmet Tamp recoil took out Mega Late, or else I would not have been able to take care of Mega Late, who would just swept me with it. Because Hoopa Unbound being paralyzed would be slower than Mega Late, and Rotom Wash is generally slower as well, so close combat would no doubt took my Room wash out. But yeah, thank you for the battle so much, Kurt Rocks. Greatly appreciate it. And thank you all for watching this. Um, leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next time for another Wi Fi battle. And remember, stay salty, Rage Quitters. Stay salty.